What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We are starting the video off in the truck, scouting the day before the hunt. Check out this pile, absolute stack of dark geese here. Oh my goodness. They're all lessers. I don't know if there's very many specks in there, but they are all lessers. Check this out. Couple snows. Look at this. Holy smokes. That is a feed, y'all. There is every bit of a thousand birds there already. Probably looks like another couple thousand to come. But real quick, today's video is sponsored by Basemap. If you haven't heard what Basemap is, Basemap is an app that you download on your phone and it is the map that I use for one, finding the landowner's name of a field that I find. Just like this feed, I pull up base map, it locates my field where I'm at, I can look at any field in the nation and find out what owner it is, y'all. Now as you can see on my phone here, I got the field pulled up and if it's this one, you just tap on the field that you want and it brings up the landowner information. Now I don't want to give away um, landowners names and all that stuff. Now guys, with this app, uh, whatever field you're wanting to find out the owner's address and name, you just tap on the field and it brings up the information. I would show you guys, but I really don't want to give landowners addresses and phone numbers and all that stuff away. You know what I mean? But whatever active address is in the system, which most, I, I am very shocked, most fields that I tap on, I get their address on the app. It's insane. So that's a lot of times the way that I get permission on these private land hunts. Y'all always ask me, Bobby, how do you scout? Well, you can scout and you can find the birds, but you have to be able to get permission, y'all. With base map, I am able to do that. You just fire it up. It goes exactly to where you're located in the nation, and it gives you all the information that you need to make your private land hunt possible. It's literally saved my butt a million times now. But if you guys want to download the app, I will link it down in the description below. Go hit it up. Big shout out to Base Map for sponsoring this video. You guys know that a lot of my hunts, we have trouble with them getting demonetized. YouTube don't like hunting that much, y'all. So thank you, Base Map. Big shout out. Um, oh, come on. That wasn't like butter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using a metal blade or what? It's a brand new battery too. <laughs> You're not even leaving anything. Like butter my butt. You bring two pairs? Yeah, I did. Good. <laughs> Another Bobby Guy film shenanigan out here. Me and Jackson, we're out here trying to cut some evergreen limbs for the morning's hunt. We're using uh, two A-frames. We're kind of going to be in the middle of a field. Like, kind of close to the edge, but kind of in the middle of it. And last year, we did it on a snow goose hunt where we put the A-frames out in the middle of a field, smack dab in the middle, and we put evergreen limbs all the way around them on top of them, and the geese did not mind it at all. On a scale from 1 to 10, do you think it's going to work? Yes, 11. You do think it's going to... Oh, 11? 11. Oh, yeah. All right, well, right on. It worked last time. It did work last time on snow on geese. Late snow geese. Yeah, so they're a lot harder. Yeah, I, hey, I believe you. They're just not flying as far to get to the field. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> These birds have to fly not even like a mile it's like three quarter of a mile they have they get off the water and they jump over the road and then they're boom right in the field so tomorrow's hunt is taking extra extra planning that's why we're out here doing this i don't want to have to do it in the morning i don't want to have to take clippers into the field in the morning and be sharing everything and trying to get it all done you know what i mean where is it where is it is it what's that say by metal Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metal blade. I brought the old oh, faithfuls, yeah, baby. baby. Gotta have the old faithfuls. Well, we got her done. Check it out. All the material we're gonna need to blind in the A-frame in the morning. I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope it is. Well, you originally said 11 on a scale of 1 to 10 if it would work with the A-frames, but now we switched our minds. Negative 11. Negative 11. So, we just did all the A-frame work for no reason. We drove out to the field to see what it looked like where we wanted to hide tomorrow with tomorrow's wind. I opened the video the day before for a reason. And that's just to show some of the preparation 
for my big hunts. This is the first real big, big hunt of the season. And my goggles are all fogging up. And But I want it to be good, you know what I mean? I want it to be good. I want it to, uh, I want it to be as good as possible. I want the hide to be as good as possible. So what we have opted to do is uh, we found us a ditch with a bunch of tall blonde grass. We just plucked a lot of it. We're running lay down blinds in the morning instead of A-frames. Get more low profile. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, we sat the spread last night. Yeah, sat it last night. We got up roughly 20, 20, and 18. So about 60 dozen, like right at 60 dozen pretty much. 15 to 18 dozen full bodies and 40 dozen dive bomb Canada silhouette decoys. I got two mojos out because there are some ducks hammering down here. But it is extremely dark, you can't see much. The blind situation looks amazing. We got all the lay down blinds stacked shoulder to shoulder here with tons of corn stalks. So the hide looks really good today. The spread's pretty darn big. The only issue is we have barely any wind. It was supposed to be cloudy. There isn't a cloud in the sky. You can see all stars. And the birds, they're only coming from about three quarter mile away. So let's cross our fingers. We're gonna get sit down. We got about 30 minutes till shooting light. Might take me a quick power nap in the blind. Let's go. Kill him? Yep, kill him. <laughs> Nothing, boys. Nothing. Hey, delete that film. <laughs> Preston goes, hey, delete that clip. Oh, uh, what happened? They were too close. They did it close. Hey, coming back on the right, on the right, boys. That's the same two we just shot at. If we land, if we can shoot this group, I'm shooting whatever comes for. We got to shoot because they're gonna keep rolling on us fast. Get ready, boys. Hopefully they square up. Shoot him on that side. Shoot him on the side. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice shooting, boys. Coming over you. Nice shot. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Woo! Well, there we go. That worked. No calling. First birds gave it up. We got to hurry up. Uh, they're going to keep coming, boys. Well, that worked. They did it pretty decent. Not bad at all. Lessers. Lessers, baby. Woo! <laughs> shot boys nice dude they gave it up they went on the left side hard didn't they Woo! clean up clean up crew out here well if you guys like the video smash the thumbs up button Woo! i was screaming at them and they loved it baby just way laying on the call man that was awesome Woo! well Two volleys. We have shot twice. Uh, two volleys of geese. Twenty-one birds on the ground. Twenty-one birds and two volleys. That's insane. Twenty-one birds, two volleys. Oh, right here. What you got there? Oh, sir. That's a little bitty chicken. Tiny. Tiny chicken. 
feels good to get into the little geese. Little geese, lessers, cacklers, they're hard. They're hard to intrigue because a lot of times when they come to the field, they come in big volleys, just like you've seen there. Big, big volleys means more eyes and more eyes to intrigue, you know what I mean? And it's more the reason for one of them just to say, no, I don't like it, and one of them dip and the rest of them go, you know what I mean? Lessers are sketchy. Uh, they're small birds. They're jumpy birds. They're yappy birds, you know? They're just sketchy birds. Not like honkers. Honkers like to give it up. You can slow cluck them and moan them and do all that jazz and they're nice and slow. Lessers and cacklers, man, they're hard birds to kill. Oh my goodness, they don't want to do it. Shoot up! Pick the one! Go down, Whitey. I was trying to shoot white the whole time. I was. I too. smoked that first, that first one. Did you? Yeah. I didn't even look. For Did white. anybody down a snow goose? No. <laughs> no I ah. I went white. That's what I went white? for. Yeah. I didn't oh, shoot look, anything. Look the big, big wads up. Oh, just sit down, boys. Oh, These are Holy the smokes! Oh, that was not good shooting, but we had to do it. They, they. That was the hey, third time they came and looked at us. I couldn't get up. That was that was a shot, boys. I don't know. Oh my God! There's a ton of birds coming. Oh my goodness! Look at all these birds. Woo! They're all coming. They're all coming. Oh my word! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my, this is wild. Give you a perspective how much is there, that's a lot. <laughs> Wanna shoot him? Yeah, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, hit him, hit him, nice shot. Nice. I was a little premature oh. on my trigger pull. Really? Hey, we got the birds up. Birds were landing in the other corner of the field. That's good. What do you got there, bud? You got Su you a little Suzy Q. Q and I didn't a shoot that baby. one. I was going for the green head. Nice. <laughs> Preston, I didn't shoot that one. I, I was going for the green head, you know. <laughs> I think Noah smacked this bad boy, though, didn't you? That's a He's good dead. looking greeny. He's oh, a big yeah. boy. Oh, yeah. Great White North, bud. The <laughs> Great White. He's from the Great White North. <laughs> Only had two shots in. I dusted that one. Why didn't he fall? I don't know. I dusted one too. Did none of them fall? Did we not kill any? I don't know. No, I saw one fall for sure. What? We just had ducks do it on us. Do it. And we shot horrible. I just... Here we go. We got a good group working us. We're not calling. We got some specs in here. That's what we need to shoot us some specs. Oh yeah, boy. See these two low specs? Wanna shoot these two specs? Shoot the two specs! Yeah! That's what we needed. Hey, we're, we're pretty much done on lessers. These are all Canada geese. Those are the two specs. The best specs have done... Those specs have done it the best out of specs. I was like, we're shooting them, boys. A lot of you are probably like, Bob, why did you waste all those birds? Guys, we're basically, we got four geese left. Yeah, we can only shoot, can only shoot four more. I'm limited out on my lessers. I can't shoot any more lessers. They got to shoot basically one a piece. 
So specs do it like that. Them are pretty specs too. They got some good looking bars on them bellies. This bird, he's still alive. I gotta ring his neck. Easy, fellas. There we go. Spec down. Not a bad looking guy. Good little hunt today, guys. Remember, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for the crew. So I want to show you guys something here. We're shooting cacklers and lessers today. This here, look how small this Canada Goose is compared to that Mallard. I mean, literally crazy difference. Isn't that insane? It's insane. Insane difference. Shooting ducks bigger than the geese. Seriously. Little bitty cacklers today. Actually more cacklers than lessers. Lessers are actually bigger than that. Uh, these are cacklers that we're shooting. So awesome little hunt. Uh, the first couple groups really gave it up. The first group gave it up here on the right side. Here's the spread. I'll show you a little more here in a minute. And the second group, man, they did it on the left side really, really well. But this is what we got going on. This is the blind situation. We got lay down blinds. We tucked them tight, shoulder to shoulder. And we went and grabbed a lot of rubbish, a lot of trash. And they look great. The weather today. You know, I'm always complaining about the weather, man. The weather, for the last four days, it said today was supposed to be mostly cloudy. There isn't a cloud in the sky. There we go. Weatherman wins again. But like I said, we got roughly 54 dozen is what it's at. 54 dozen. I think I said 60 dozen at the beginning of the video, but 54 dozen. We got a lot of dive bomb silhouettes. We got some full bodies sprinkled in. I did have two mojos up this morning, but we ripped them down when the geese, get, when the geese got up. But uh, this morning, Jackson and Landon took their five birds that they shot between them both. And we finished the limit today. Uh, they did it really good. Me and Ross were actually walking out of the field and Noah and Preston stayed here and they had one bird to shoot and they ended up landing 30 of them. So, <laughs> did really good. Hit it on the head. Uh, ended up a lot better than I thought. We, there was a lot of birds here from the get-go, but I was like, man, it's gonna be a, ended up being a sunny day. It's supposed to be cloudy. I didn't know how we were gonna hide out here. The coverage is not very good for lay down blinds. All the stalks are just laid down. So we had to go really gather up a lot of that corn trash to conceal us. Oh, oh hi Fred. Yeah, you guys probably missed old Frederick on today's video. It was a lay down blind hunt, a goose hunt, lay down blinds. You're laying in the spread. The birds are looking at you at all times. I'm just so weary to get Fred out there and have him jumping around or breaking, scaring birds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've had a couple comments that I've read where guys go, if my dog don't go, I don't go. Well, you know what? I'll say one thing. On the hunts that I know Fred will learn something, or if I have the ability to put down my calls and handle Fred, he'll go on every hunt. But if I can't, he's gonna stay home. I'm not gonna make it a bad environment where I'm constantly frustrated with Fred and trying to make a video and calling and doing everything else. So, A-frame hunts, we got one on the way that we just did, and it is with Fred, we're in an A-frame, but as well, it's with a massive shotgun. I don't wanna give it away yet, but it has recently been one of the most requested videos that y'all have wanted. So, be looking out for that video, as well as many more. Hit that notification bell, y'all. Do it. It'll notify you when I upload so you won't miss anything to come. But again, guys, huge, huge shout out to Basemap who sponsored this here video. They have an amazing product, the app I've been using, and it has been working. As y'all can tell from the hunts, I'm not always hunting in the same spot. I have to drive, I have to scout, I have to call farmers. But before I'm able to call farmers, I gotta find out their name. I gotta find out who owns that piece of ground that the birds are on. Base map allows me to do that. So if you guys wanna download base map, I will link it down in the description below. Download it, y'all. I'm telling you, it is a lifesaver. And if you have never used an app like it, you'll fall in love with it because hunting and getting permission becomes so much easier. But thank y'all for being here again. Remember, Put your video ideas down in the comment section below. Just do it. Whatever you guys wanna see me do, tell me down there. I read them all. Subscribe if you haven't, y'all. But until next time, peace.